Hi everybody, this is Killjack Soul Drinker. I am going to show you how to get rid of Greyface. Perhaps some of you have tried to make multiple ESPs of character retextures blend together. And perhaps some of you have faced Greyface, no pun intended, where you have a character and they just have a gray face and it's obviously not right it looks really bad and I'm going to teach you how I've discovered how to fix it now let me say right off the bat that I'm not a modding expert and if you are watching this and you see some and, and you're a programmer and you see something and I'm, you're like wow this guy has no idea what he's talking about by all means leave a cordial correction down in the comments below and I'll be very much appreciated or I'll very much appreciate it but through my own trial and error, this is what I found. Let me show you what kind of gray face we're talking about. Okay, here we are in Whiterun. And let me show you a gray face example here, okay? We're going to look up Freer. That's this lady right here. Now, I... Well, I'll show that in a minute, okay? Where'd you go? There you are. You see those warriors right. from Hammerfell? That's pretty bad. Swords. Okay, obviously that's not what she's supposed to look like. Obviously we've got a terrible, terrible neck seam here. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, so this is what we're trying to get rid of right now. Alright, so what I have done is I have installed a about three dozen, two dozen different NPC retextures. Okay? These are all retextures, okay, all the way from Astrid up to, where did it go, M MPC Overhaul, okay, I, all of those right there, these are all retextures, and I have a slew of ESPs to go with it. I've got from 199 all the way up to 136, so 63, 64 ESPs. Okay, and obviously I'm going to merge all those, but before I can merge them using TS5 Edit, I need to make sure they are free of conflicts. And Freer, having, or however you pronounce her name, having a next name is a conflict. Having a gray face is a conflict. So let me show you how I've done this. Enyo and I have created a very extensive list of all the NPCs we want to overwrite. We've gone through the Nexus and we've made a list of every NPC that we're overwriting and which mod we will use to overwrite that NPC. Okay, that's Enyo's list, that's my list. So let's look at Freer here. Okay, this, where, crap, where'd you go? There it is. So we have the name, we have their ID reference code. Now you can get this just off of the Elder Scrolls Wikia page. Just search their name, it'll pull up their bio and it'll give you their reference code. So we want to use Inhabitants of Skyrim to replace freer. That's the mod that we want. Okay, So we're going to need that information. Now if we come over here to Inhabitants of Skyrim, okay, it's the very very top one. Now the reason that's important is that every mod that you see that is marked red here has some file that is overwriting Inhabitants of Skyrim. Okay, To confirm that, right click on the mod, go to information, and click conflicts. Overwritten mods, this section here tells you what files the NPC overhaul inhabitants of Skyrim is overwriting. It's overwriting these files, and we want that, that's just fine. These are all the master files, basically. And then it's being overwritten by all of these files. Okay, all of these files are overwriting something. Now, I actually want that. Inhabitants of Skyrim is a huge mod retexture package covering some 600 plus NPCs. I don't have the time to go through and individually select which ones I want to delete. So instead of deleting, going in and deleting the textures out of the file, which I'll, I will show you how to do here, I just want all of these to come below it, effectively rewriting over the top. Okay. Now, none of these files, I will tell you right now, are showing Freer, that character. Okay, None of them should have them. Uh, but let's see. what. But let's find out. Where is the retexture 
conflict coming from. Okay, so if we come down here, mods that are providing conflicts or mods that are overriding my file. These codes are people. Okay, now we doesn't give us the names, it gives us the people. So which that means we have to come back over here. Freer is 13277. So looking over here, looking for 13277, bingo, right there. Okay, now it's saying that the problem mod is ordinary women. Okay, so now I should be able to come to Ordinary Women, open up TS5 Edit, run. And if you're not familiar with TS5 Edit, you don't have it, you don't know how to use it, this is not the time to explain. Um, there are plenty of good videos on YouTube explaining what TS5 Edit is and how to download it and install it as part of Mod Organizer, so I'm not going to do all that. Okay, Ordinary Women, I'm looking for that ESP alone. There it is. Okay, I'm only going to, so I right clicked, and, right clicked and selected none. Now I'm going to click just that one ESP. So it's only going to load that ESP and all ESPs that it relies on, or ESMs, okay? Waiting for it to say finished. Bingo, finished. Now, click on that. You're going to get these different areas. The only one we're concerned about, even though you would think it'd be under texture set, set it's not. We want non-player character actor, okay? Now if I open that up, this will give a list of reference codes and the names of all characters who are being affected by this mod, all retextures. Now remember, our character was Freer, and you'll see her name is not in here. Now the reason her name is not in there is because I have already come in here and deleted it. And how you do that, let's say you wanted to download the Ordinary Women mod, but you don't want Hiroki you go through the mod page on the Nexus and you really hate the retexture of Hiroki, okay? You don't like it, whatever. You just click on it, you can right click, remove. It'll say, are you absolutely sure? Yes you are, yes you are, sure, okay, and now it's gone. Now at this point you just come up and click X and it's going to ask you to save your file. You know, if you want to save the change, if you want Hiroki to be gone, you would leave that box checked and press OK. Now I'm not going to do that because I want Hiroki, so I'm going to uncheck it and press OK and it did not save my changes. But if you wanted to save your changes, you would press OK. Now sometimes that's all you need to do to remove extra people from your retexture mods. And that's what I said I'm not willing to do for my inhabitants of Skyrim because there are so, so many. Let me just show you really quick how many files are in inhabitants of Skyrim. Every one of these is a person in the game. Okay, that is way too many for me to go through. So that's why I put it at the top, so it would overwrite. Because I put it up at the top and I want Hiroki, or excuse me, not Hiroki, Freer, right? That character Freer with the bad neck seam, or the gray face. Because I want her retextured by this one, I went through and I deleted all the files using TS5 Edit that had Freer's file in it, but that hasn't worked. I'm still getting Grayface. Now let me tell you what you need to do. So your first step is to use TS5 Edit and delete the file from any mods you don't want providing textures for that character. Okay, and if that doesn't work, I know that according to this tab, I know that Ordinary Women is producing the problem. Okay? So, using this, again, Freer's code is 13277. I'm going to go to Ordinary Women, Information, File Tree. Now, if I open up, we have meshes and textures for each character. So, I'm going to open up. Now, Freer is not part of the Dawn Guard, so it's part of ESM. It was 13277. Let's go find her. Bingo. 13277. Even though I deleted her file from the TS5 using TS5 edit, we still have files in this in here for her. Okay? Why? I don't know. We just do. Right click, delete. Okay? We just deleted a mesh. Okay? So I'm going to close these. Now we also have to do that for this noose file. I have no idea what it is, 
But if we scroll down, look for her name, uh, there it is. Okay, open it up. You can see these in here. We don't want them. Delete. Okay, and again, we're in ordinary women because I want inhabitants of Skyrim's texture, and ordinary women is causing the conflict. So I've done that. So now I'm going to close those. Oops. And we needed to do the exact same thing in textures. So opening up textures, 13277, right there, delete. Same thing, find Freer, there she is, delete, close. Now my computer is going to churn here for a second. And now, if I come back up to Inhabitants of Skyrim, click Information and Conflicts, search down here for Conflicts for 13277, which is Freer, you will not find her. Okay, there is no 13277 in here anymore. We have removed those conflicts. So now I'm going to close, and we're going to, we're going to come back in. Let me delete these out of here first. Now we're going to go back into the game, and I will show you the finished product. All right, so we're back in Whiterun. Let's find her. Help. Freer. Actually, I already. I still haven't memorized. It's player. Place at me. Zero 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 thirteen two seventy seven. I heard the gourmet hey, look. Is hiding out somewhere in She's all fixed. No you gray know, face. Fella who wrote that cookbook. That's the way she's meant to look. So, as a recap, your first step is to use TS5 Edit to delete the files you no longer want. Okay, the conflicting files like I did with Ordinary Women. I did not want freer textures from Ordinary Women, so I deleted them using TS5 Edit. Sometimes that works just by itself. Sometimes it doesn't. If that doesn't work, you can try, number two, reordering your mods. Because again, anything that's below takes priority of anything that's above it. So, improved NPC overhaul, beg your pardon, in Inhabitants of Skyrim, is going to be overwritten by any conflicting mod files down here. So you can try just moving stuff around. I have this set up in a specific system the way I like it, so I don't want to move this stuff around anymore. So barring that, step number two. Step number three is to use information, conflicts, and find out which mod is conflicting your mod, which mod is conflicting with your files. Okay, which means you have to know your character's reference number. Once you found that out, you need to go into the conflicting mod, information, file tree, go in and delete the individual files for only that character from both meshes and textures. And that should be it. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions or if I've been unclear on something, again, I'm not a mod expert. In fact, I'm, a, I'm still a novice, honestly. I just figured this out through trial and error. But I couldn't find anyone else online to really explain to me how to fix this, so I created this video in the hopes that it'll help somebody. So best of luck to you, and thanks for watching.